Honorable Speaker, Sir, I have great pleasure in participating in the discussion on the motion of thanks to the Governor's address. We are aware that the Governor has explained the broad policies of the Government in his address. Before proceeding to my speech, I would like to thank the Honorable Speaker for having given me this opportunity. I thank the Leader of the Opposition for including me in the list of members speaking on behalf of my party. At the outset, I would like to point out that this year's address is quite the same as previous year's speech. As a matter of fact, I find that most of the programs have been repeated without much change. It is my humble request that at least this year the government should complete all the schemes so that in the next year's address we see a new set of schemes. The first point. I would like to bring to the notice of the house is regarding the economy. We are aware that the rate of inflation is increasing day by day. The value of the rupee is going down and the people find it difficult to pay more for the goods and services. In the circumstances, it is a matter of concern that the interest paid by the government to various agencies for past loans is also increasing to a great extent. I would like to point out that all these things put a strain on the people of the state. I fully agree that our state is one of the few developed states in the country. However, we should not lose sight of the fact that our loan burden is increasing year after year. I would therefore request the government to curtail unnecessary expenditure so that we are able to repay the loans in time. On the other hand, I believe that the share of the state government in the central taxes has not been received fully in the last few years. In addition to this, we have to take into account the natural calamities faced by us in recent years. It is therefore necessary that we should request the centre to release the funds due to us as early as possible. During the course of his speech, the Honorable Governor has outlined the steps taken by the government to improve bus transport facility. In this connection, I would like to bring to your kind attention one important thing. It is a matter of great concern that by introducing large number of deluxe buses, people have been forced to pay higher fare. On the one hand, I do agree that our rates are lower than those in other parts of the country but at the same time i also find that the number of ordinary bus services have been reduced greatly and people are forced to pay more for travel i hope and trust that the government will take into consideration the views expressed by honorable members of the house and increase the number of ordinary services the next item on my agenda is milk production it is a source of satisfaction that the state is second in milk production in the country. As far as I am concerned, being a farmer, I am very happy with this state of affairs. At the same time, I would like to point out that the government has recently increased the retail price of milk sold by the government milk societies. It appears to me that this has been made in order to give better price to the dairy farmers. However, I would request the government to bring down the price a little so that the consumers are also benefited. Honorable Speaker Sir, I sincerely appreciate the government for the excellent steps taken to meet the power shortage in the last few years. It is a matter of great satisfaction that we are now surplus as far as electricity is concerned. In this connection, I would like to bring one thing to your kind attention. It is said that there is going to be an increase in electricity charges levied by the regulatory commission, which is an independent body. I would therefore like to request the government to bear a portion of it in the form of subsidy to the people. With this end in view, I support the steps being taken by the government in this regard. With these few words, I would like to conclude my speech thanking you for this opportunity.